Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another cruise video. So mom and I have finally made it to Brisbane, Australia. We've been here for two days exploring the city, just having a great time. And today we are boarding the ship. So we're gonna go back in time a little bit to when we pulled up in our taxi, take you through the whole process. But this is actually the Carnival Luminosa, which you guys might have seen last June when dad and I sailed Alaska. Same ship, very different part of the world. So when you get to the port, you will get out of your taxi. The taxis pull up here. You can see the ship behind mom. There's the ship. There's the mom. And here is the terminal. So it looks like we'll go right up here drop our bags with the valets, the tax porters, and then go in. Let's hit it. Baggage drop. You can see everyone waiting for their time. And then you'll come around. If you need help putting your baggage tags on, you can come right here. And then we'll get in line to get on the ship. We have a lot of signs saying, make sure your passport has six months of validity after your sail date, so make sure. You don't want to miss the boat at this point. Once you come in from outside, you can go straight upstairs, or apparently we have a little souvenir shop, which is always fun. They have some cute little shirts. Um, boomerangs. Owls, hats, all of your very important Australian souvenirs. Nothing we need. Get checked in for the flight. Not a flight, for the cruise. Up the escalator. It's actually really pretty outside and it looks like you can kind of walk by the water a bit. And then the ever standard cruise photo before going to check in. Let's go. See, we came right in and down the priority line. The general boarding is going back and forth. And the check-ins. Or we'll head out that way for the last, uh, usually pictures and check-in. Time to get on the boat. Look at that view. You can see the terminal. So after we got through the security with the actual belts and everything, we walked all the way down here and boarded the ship. It was a pretty easy boarding process as far as boarding any of the ships goes, but there were a few differences from a standard American or Carnival, a Caribbean, even Alaska cruise. Number one, have to have your visa way before you get here. So when you are signing up for your cruise, make sure you don't forget your visa. You also do need travel insurance and they do check it in the terminal. Seems like sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but they checked ours today. Mom actually came to Australia last year without me because she's a party pooper. They didn't check it then. Always better safe than sorry. They also were a little more strict about things like water. You cannot bring bottles of any type on ever, but we couldn't even purchase the normal 12 bottles of water to be delivered to our stateroom like we do. We were able to bring on our cans of Diet Coke, which as you know, only thing I really care about. But while we normally strap the 12 packs to our suitcases to bring them on, the Australians were not thrilled with that. They wanted us to carry them on loose, which I'm still not quite sure how you would bring 12 cans loose, but bring a bag because after they opened my 10 pack, uh, I just had 10 loose cans. It was a huge mess. <laughs> they did learn from their mistake and they didn't open mom's, so maybe they'll figure it out. The, the cans went through the x-ray machine, so they could tell there's nothing in there but soda. But I think they're being a little strict in case somehow I have opened the pack, replaced the Diet Coke with, say, beer and then sealed it back up. Either way, keep that in mind. Australia definitely takes their security seriously, including their quarantine and declaring of objects when you come into their country. When we got off their plane, 
We had to declare all kinds of things. They took my beef jerky and mom's peanuts. So keep that in mind when you were packing to come over here. They have different rules. And not all of these are listed on the website. We're not sure why, but it's okay. I lost some beef jerky, gained some Diet Coke. We're on a ship. We're gonna have a great time. <laughs> Definitely going to be a fun cruise. We are actually doing this ship, the Luminosa, before we are going to get off after 11 days. We're going to fly to Sydney, and then we're going to get on the Splendor for two back-to-back -back cruises. So three cruises in Australia. Get ready every Wednesday morning. You'll be seeing cruise videos coming your way because we got all kinds of stuff planned. I'm very, very excited. We already did go to the, never wants to hang right, the Pandora in Brisbane. So look out for that video. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go to dinner, we're gonna go to a show. I don't know if I'll film any of that. So if I do, you will see it next. If I don't, we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all. All right, y'all, I'm going back to the room and right up here, found my first dock. It's gonna be a good cruise. Hello. I've only been on the ship about five minutes. Yeah. No. Oh. Found my first duck. Oh, you're such a bad, bad thing. <laughs> it's a red duck. He's just a red duck. He doesn't have any writing. Where was he? On top of the bathroom sign up on 10. Uh -huh. Cool. You can start our collection. 